This is Jean Benet Ramsey, and unfortunately, tragically, I became aware of toddler pageants because of her disappearance back in 1996. And if you think about it, she was really the first toddler pageant person to have her own reality show. Because let's face it, she's been on the news ever since. Sadly, her case to this day still remains unsolved. The Little Miss Teen pageant originated in 1960. And to this day, as we flash forward, oh my goodness, who's this 40-year-old woman? Wait, I know that face. Who is that woman? Is that... That's not a woman, that's a child! Alana, six years old? Oh my goodness. Do you remember the days when beauty pageants actually had, um, women? You see, women still compete in beauty pageants. There's the Miss Universe, there's the Miss USA, there's the Miss everything. But that's the point, they're women. If women are going to compete, let the women compete over their looks, not children. 1960, that's when the Little Miss team was introduced. And that's when parents were like, you know what, let's just put our kids all up in it. And so they do. They doll them up just like they're dolls, just like they're little Barbies. They have them dance, they have them drink caffeine and spin around and do all this crazy shit. And for what? Look at this. Watch as these little kids get suntanned. Isn't that exciting? Shouldn't every child and toddler just be suntanned and learn to grow and to compete with other women and other people in their same gender group based upon their looks? Who can be the prettiest? Who looks the tannest? Yeah, isn't that important? And all these parents, they all agree. And all the judges. Judges, they sit and they want. Oh shit, are those my grandmother's friends? I remember a time when girls used to just play in the schoolyard and do dances, and they had fun. And the only competition may have been whether or not you got the dance moves right or who had the best PB&J for lunch. Look at these girls just spinning over a bar. I mean, that's what you did, you played outside. And that's the thrill of being a kid. They get to just enjoy yourself and do whatever the hell you want. You get to play with toys. And now, put your hands together for the world's youngest tramp, says this lady. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Inspired by Julia Roberts' character in Pretty Lady, this little girl's dressed up like a street prostitute. Unbelievable. Look, come on over, she says. She's wearing all this makeup. They all are. These young girls are getting a skewered look at what it means to be a female at such an early age. Let's face it, if you want to do it... What is he doing? You know, back in 1921, that's when the... Pa Anyways, th that's <laughs> when the pageants began in Coney Island in 1921 to draw tourists and a bunch of attractions and things like this and everyone had fun and they still do it and it's televised and I get it and it's exciting and it's doing to represent your country or perhaps your state and you answer all the questions and you show off your talents but these are women who do that lipstick ain't for toddlers let your children be children let them enjoy themselves please there are over 25,000 different pageants a year for these kids? You've got to be kidding me. What the f-